M0FXB, welcome back to my video on the Yaesu FTX1 and the Yaesu FT991A. So many of us have this dilemma. Do we keep our 991A, which you can buy nowadays for £1,200? Or do we sell it and buy the new Yaesu FTX1 Optima, which if you're in the UK is going to cost you £2,000? and 69 pounds or the usa it looks like it's 1899 dollars the key thing to remember here is the spa1 so the unit on the back of the ftx uh, does have an antenna tuner how can i confirm this well it'd be nice to hear it from john crook to say yes it has a tuner but if i show you the martin lynch listing here in the uk uh, and these are selling for £549. It clearly says on the right hand side, the supplied with the FTX Optima, a HF and 50 megahertz antenna tuner. OK, that's what it says. So I'm going to assume based on Martin Lynch's listing uh, where you can buy the items separately, uh, that it's it does include a tuner. And you have to bear that in mind because a tuner's the cost of a tuner and there's a couple available uh is what 250 pound delivered for one for the one that just sort of plugs into the back of the radio but there's another one available that's uh that's a separate unit which is this one here so 279 it's more separate which yeah i like it so let's just call it 300 pound so just with the ftx one if you just buy the front unit in the UK, it's 1,600. Add 300 for your tuner. That's 1,900. Then add another 500. You're talking 2,400 pounds um, if you want the whole caboodle. And so let's go over to the 991. Now, the Yaesu 991 specifications, what's the big difference? Well, I'm not seeing any four meters on the, on the 991. Although four meters, it looks like it's only included in the EU model of the FTX one. So the, the key thing is here, what do I get if I buy the FTX one? You get the 3DS display and you get dual receive. I don't know how they've done it, but you will be able to listen to HF at the same time as listening to either VHF and UHF. You can do simultaneous VHF, VHS, VHF, UHF. You can't do HF, HF. Yeah, you can't do that. So then you're looking at, of course, it's the newest model. The Yaesu FT991A has been around for a long time. It's a bigger unit and less portable the front unit of the ftx1 is removable and you can run it without a power supply you could run it six watts but as soon as you add power into it um, it goes up to 10. it's a very portable qrp type unit now many there are many users out there that just prefer that they just want low power qrp 10 watts go out there with their cw paddle and a length of wire they don't even need a tuner and they just you know there's some very nice enjoyable videos of it and they're talking around the world world with this tiny small unit they can virtually hold in their hand a length of wire cut to size and they go da 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 and they're talking around the world then you've got the people that used to like say for example the yesu ft857 yeah where you've just got a shack in the box quite small and compact although this unit is i would say it's definitely bigger than the in this the front head is definitely bigger than the 857 the rear i don't think i think the, the rear is thicker and wider but it's still quite a compact size i think it's quite deceiving with the very nice brochures that are being released that how this is quite a small unit and the front head is small and they've packed a lot in there so you know um you're still going to get with the yesu ft 9 and one you're going to get vhf uhf six meters the hf bands built-in tuner it's a very good price i know that if you shop around you'll probably get a better price than what i'm showing here i think that i put down 1199 um the, yes, the waterfall, I would say, on the 991 is not as advanced as the FTX1. 
but it's still a very, you know, I, I've got the 991 here in front of me, and it's a very usable, solid set. You are not going to worry about, even if you did take it portable, put it on a, a table, if you go camping or on the beach, you put that solid set down with the right antenna, you've got your tuner already built in, you're going to be very happy with it, and it's going to work the world, and you're going to be completely confident uh, with it. The... The FTX one, it's, it's almost like a new experience, and they're saying it themselves, the new experience. I've got the F, I had the FT710, and I was very happy with it. You know, I had the AESS speaker. The, you know, the main thing is with the FTX one is you've got that choice. You've got the portable QRP go up on a hill choice, or you've got, let's use it as a base station. It's, you know, people are going to buy it because they, you know, these new products sell well, pretty much regardless what the prices are. Uh, I do think it's come in um and it's coming up at the top end of what i was expecting but then i didn't know that the spa1 which is the rear end housing that is also housing the 100 watt amp and the atu i didn't you know realize that they were going to do that and include the tuner i always knew that the antenna tuner was going to be around 300 pound that was in my, my sort of common sense guess about 300 pound so when you look at the whole package and the fact that it includes a tuner you won't have to buy a tuner um, if you're using the 100 watt way of doing it now the interesting thing is that if we remove you know this is one good question if we remove the head unit then obviously we've lost the back unit we've lost our tuner um, are there going to be is there going to be a cable kit where we can still use the tuner but separately yeah so if we've got our cables that are couple of meters long three four meters long can we then sort of use the tuner uh, but i think as soon as you add the tuner and you saw it earlier on the back you know the head unit it does become a bit of a brick doesn't it it's quite a big brick but then and so is the the 705 they didn't even have the modular tuner they they had the separate unit that you're that you that you saw just it was more like this. It was a separate unit. <clears throat> you laid it on the table next to your device. And let's let's talk about other things. So you have to buy a separate GPS module for the FTX one, but it will do APRS and you can plug in the BU6 Bluetooth. It's probably going to be 50 quid that plugs into the back of the head unit. I believe so it gives you Bluetooth with the Yesu you can actually add a GPS antenna I would say most of us would use our fixed location anyway the GPS it's nice to have it and to see that GPS symbol on the screen flashing away um, but really most of us tend to just put it on manual coordinates so I don't think the GPS is a biggie but they both can do it Bluetooth um, well is the Bluetooth going to be data transferable you know is that's, that's a you know because I feel that a Bluetooth that does data and audio is worth having. If it's just audio, well, you might as well go to Amazon and buy a little adapter that you plug into the speaker so into the speaker jack for seven pound, and they're very good. I've got one here, and it works great. And then you can Bluetooth the audio all day long to any headset. So that's my answer for Bluetooth. I do think the dual receive is a big deal because it is very nice to tune HF on one side and then on the other side be listening to your local repeater. So to me, that's probably the most valuable and that's the part that you're paying for and the way they've managed to pack that basically into this small head unit is fantastic. They weren't able to do that with the 705. I'm sure they could and, and 705 are going to be looking closely at their competitors touch screen you do not have touch screen on the 991 although there's so many buttons because i've got it here in front there's so many buttons on the front of the 991 you can see it in the picture there that there isn't actually an urge to have a touch screen on this device because everything is there at hand um so that you know i just quickly bring up the 710 the yesu 710 which is selling at a bargain price now everywhere you go there you know, eight, nine hundred pounds in the UK, probably nine hundred dollars USA. Um, but, you know, the fact that you don't get VHF and UHF is a biggie. Yeah, it is a biggie. Yeah. But for that money, yeah, because you've got to think to get that experience with this FTX one um, and you wish you 100 watts, then you are talking, you know, let's just call it a couple of thousand dollars. So you're doubling, you're doubling your cost.
So I feel that they should keep selling the 710 because I think the 710 is actually going to become more popular after this. Not that I, I don't think that the FTX one will be a successful product that they have made. 100%. I've got a feeling there'll be some coupons in the future and some very good cashback deals um, for those that want to get this at a bargain price. Um, I, I, I feel that's very close, yeah? Um, but they all, you know, they've just spent a lot of money on research and development producing this. It always comes out at the top end of the price. Uh, and then it tends to come, it comes down with some decent offers. Um, obviously, as hams, we just prefer we got a really good deal from day one. Like, if they're going to do this, give us something free. Uh, give us an extra battery or something. Um, so, yes, the, when you buy it, you do get an included battery. There's some additional items. As a, I've noticed there's a, a fan there that attaches to the back. Again, thanks to Martin Lynch. And they've got their site here scrolling right and left on its own, which is quite cool. But anyway, so if we just go by the first one, you've got the FC80 tuner, the SBR52L battery. Um, it's going to need to make sure that I'm getting this right. It's all come. We'll put it this way. It's all coming up. Um, with the when I click FTX one. Okay, scrolling back and forth. Um, still. So FC ninety tuner. Then we've got the tuner that plugs into the back of the FTX one. So the other one was separate. We've got the battery here. They've got the little fan that clips on the GPS module. Actually, isn't that expensive? Which is good. The F G P five. Okay. There's your Bluetooth module. They've gone to version six. They've got uh, the handles there. I thought they were included, but they're not. So sort of carry handles, uh, which are twenty seven pounds, um, and a handle which is apparently included if you buy the SPA one, and the ATS one twenty. What's that? Yesu ATBK one hundred. That's an interesting one microphones and so on so anyway you know i i know this is um there's a lot of a, a lot of video many videos okay about this but it's so important because yesu have released something which is a game changer yeah and um, but then you're talking big money uh, you know this is a big hit of money for people but they are they want to get the product but they've already got you know They've already got their 991. They've already got their 710. They've already got their Yesu FT510, which has ASP. The FTX1 does not have ASP. Well, that ASP actually works really well. It does have SDX, which is like, uh, you know, even John didn't actually describe in detail how that worked. He just sort of said it sort of did this and sort of did that. Um, and to be honest with you, I actually don't know, but my experience is it's like a preamp. You press a button and it just brings, doesn't just bring in the um, the person talking, it brings in everything with them as well. Well, the ASP, which is more like DSP, it turns it a bit watery, but it really cleans it up, makes it more more enjoyable to listen to. So please remember, I'm not Yesu. I'm just a passionate ham. If I get things wrong, correct me. I like being corrected. Um, and, um, you know, always go to the horse's mouth, go to Yesu, watch the podcast by John Crook. Uh, even John Crook has to do his ho homework to make sure that he's getting everything right. Because there's a lot to take in here. Um, and But ultimately, you know, if you've used the Yesu 710, if you use the Yesu 101, um, you are going to be familiar with this. It's a shack in the box, but, but it's you need a box of money to get it. Um, but that's just the sign of the times, if you ask me. You know, I don't think they're ever trying to charge too much. I just feel like the components and the way the world is now, everything's gone up in price. And us oldies, us, I'm 57, haven't got used to it yet. So anyway, thanks for watching my YouTube videos. Of course, I've got it coming, already ordered it. Um, and I'll be doing lots of videos on every aspect of it. And I'll get the extras, I'll get the GPS and the Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, Test, uh, test the hell out of it. I'm keeping my 991 though, because I don't. I like to have my radios here. I like to choose every day a different radio to use. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please stay healthy, eat healthy, think about everything that's going in your mouth, eat healthy, live a longer life, less play, more radio. Thanks to all involved, whether it's the sellers, whether it's Yesu, 
John Crook, even Ray from ICOM. Thank you very much. We're loving our hobby. 7-3.